Okay. Hey, this is Teresa, one mother, one daughter, and I'm here for, you know what it is, the Julie Nutting Dog Collaboration, which is hosted by These Special Things, These from These Special Things, Terry E01, and Dawn from Dare to Be Creative. So, yeah, my desk is messy. That means I've been doing some work. So, I'm, 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 let me just say, I'm not apologizing for my desk being messy. Um, it is what it is. That means I've been creative. So, I have a special treat for you guys today. I told you I would be on my job this time. And I actually was. So, um, first let me just say, I use this doll right here. Now, <laughs> since I couldn't find it, because um, I'm unorganized at this moment. I couldn't find it. I found one online and I printed it out. The reason why I printed it out on this paper, well, my doll is not from the print. But I couldn't find the doll to show you because I altered the doll. So, this is what I made because the theme for July is beach. And I altered this doll. So, I'm showing you this here. I love this doll. I love the way it came out. And this is the doll. I don't know the name of it because I can't find my stamp. Don't judge. <laughs> I can't find it. So, um, at the end, after I show you guys uh, what I did um, with the card and how I created it, I'll show you how I altered this doll. So, let's get started. I made two projects. What? Can you believe it? I made two projects. So, let me show you what I used. Shout out to Candice, Candice, Kim, Edge. oh, the Candice from Only One Life Creations, because she always has these awesome deals, and I got this stamp set, if you haven't seen this stamp set, guys, it's 5 for $15, and I wanted this one so bad, and I got it, but I used this stamp set, and it came just in time for me to do the project that I wanted to do, and this has, it's from Stamp Pendants, and it has a whole beach uh, scenery and I don't have any stamps that make scenery cards so I used this stamp right here the seat I used that little cup um, on the inside I used this wave I used the umbrella and I used the the palm tree uh, leaves I also used these two stamps one says, find a few moments to just sit back and rest your eyes. And the other one says, toes in the sand, muru of waves. I don't know what the hell that means, but that's what I use. So, without further ado, let me show you my card. I also used, I bet you're thinking I used my ink tint pencils. No! I used my Primo. Primo. I used my, oh my god, what is this? Prismacolor. I've really been working with them. I feel like I need to use up my products. I'm not trying to buy anything. I want to use up what I have. <coughs> so, that's what I did. I colored everything with my Prismacolor, except for the seam. It's actually um, with the stress inks. And then I used Winkostella for the water, the umbrella, and the drink. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. And I just went crazy. I also uh, used, well, I used my Prisma colors for everything else. Except for the background. So, the chair, the umbrella, her dress, and the leaves. So, I'm going to show you guys how I did that. And since she's grown and sexy, she has on her little sheer. I made that skirt sheer and gave her a bikini. I'm going to show you guys how I did that. And she has her belly button pierced because she's grown and sexy. So, I love how this came out. I have to tell you guys, too, what I did. And I'm going to show you because I, I put the stuff up. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, back to what I was saying. I made a sheer, like she's grown and sexy, and I made her bathing suit. I colored her hair. You see, I colored her hair, her headband, and her shoes and everything with my Prisma color and made it sheer. I keep saying that, right? I did say that again. And then I put little rhinestones on her shoes, and I think her skin is awesome. Now, let me tell you. In between, I'll show you. That kind of looks weird, but 
<laughs> I put her legs together as opposed to giving her a gap. And you will see what I mean when I when I show you at the end how I altered this doll. That used to be this doll, but it's now this doll. Okay, isn't it gorgeous? It came out so cute. I am totally stoked. Come on, guys. You have to leave me a comment and tell me what you think. You have to give me a thumbs up if you think that I altered. I have no summer stamps, and I don't intend to buy any. I feel like the whole point of being creative is being creative. So I'm trying to use what I have. And I have to tell you guys, I'm really, I'm not a super, super fan of these dolls i am actually really this is really a challenge for me because i only have a few so i have to make them work and i seem to be doing okay so that's my first project and there it is again with the little drink can you see the little drink girl needs a drink and the inside says find some find a few moments to just relax and rest your eyes and i'm gonna say enjoy your summer vacation i'm gonna write that in and again, the background is done with the distress inks. Okay, so that's my first one, and this is my second one, which is a bookmark because along with this card, I'm going to send a book. And this time, I did the girl in pink, and then on um, my computer, I typed out "relax" with a good book. Again, her belly button is pierced because she's grown and sexy, and she has rhinestone on her shoes. Come on, I colored the hell out of those legs. Up this, I really think I did a good job with this. I even colored her cheeks to have a blushing. My hair and everything. I'm going to show you my original piece. And then I put a little lobster claw so that if, I mean, it's going to be hanging out the book like this. But if the person wants to take it off and put it on like a, um, on a keychain, they can do that. There's a sun and some little flip flops and a pink uh, bead from yes, if whoever you know the the beads that I hold from Michaels, and then I put this print behind it. It's layered with white, and then I put this print behind it. And inside, I left it blank, but I left it open because, like me, sometimes if I'm reading something and I don't know the word, I like to write it down and look it up so that I'll be in the know. So I left a little thing like a little notepad. So that's the pink one. Isn't it so cute? <coughs> Okay, now, let me tell you what I did with this to get it to where it's at. I'm going to show you. Bring this over. I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to use a regular pen, okay? So, let me move you guys in so you can see, okay? Uh, oh, I don't want to see all that. Okay. Is that good? Can you see? So, I try to follow the, the shape of her legs, and it was easy, so I just went to the shape. Let me move this so you can see. I printed it out big so you can see, and I just made her, can you see that? So, that's one cut, one drawer, and then I did the same thing to the other side. You're kind of using the, the dress as a guideline. I hope you can see that. And then for the, um, I should have used a pencil because I don't want to make a mistake. Okay. And then I made like the panties. Let me see if I can turn it this way. And the center is where it's going to be like her crotch area. I'm turning it so that you guys can see. So I kind of just wrote, you know how you draw the legs up a little and then I just put a line right there. Can you see that? So underneath you can already see ooh, her panties. Can you see that? Okay. Easy, easy, easy. And then on the top, I'm turning it so that you guys can see without my hand being in the way. I just use the side of her arms, her armpits to start where her breast is. And I just gave her a little curve. Can you see? Sorry, I hit the camera. And then I'm using the middle right here of her chest to tell me when to stop. And then I made another little curve. And let me tell you guys, I am not a drawer. I cannot draw. 
and then at the top right there in the middle I'm just gonna make a little V so it can give and that's it oh wait and then I did her belly button because if her shirt is up she has to have a belly button so can you see that now as you can see in the middle of her legs right you could just see like it's open it looks weird so what I did was from her legs her two you see right there in between I'm just gonna go up and into the middle of the panties and I'm gonna do that on the other side so it looks like her thighs are together and as opposed to her having a gap I hope you know what I mean and you can understand that so if you look at this one you can see that's exactly what I did. Her legs are together. It's darkened inside because the inside of your thighs would be darker than your legs. Let me see if you can see it better on this one. You see that? It kind of looks weird, but it doesn't. I don't know how to describe, but anyway, I just thought it looked better than the gap part that I almost did, and I didn't want to do that. So let me show you, give you another quick tip before I go. Since I wanted to make more than one project and I really, really like my coloring, what I did was I colored my image, my body, and my, my her um and her face and her hair and everything first. And I left everything just like it was. I did this right here. I just colored her body. I mean, I feel like I did the damn thing on this coloring. I am really, really, really loving using my pencils and maybe um Maybe one day I'll, I'll be confident enough to do a video and show y'all some of my other tips that I have. So this is my original. And all I did was make copies so that I can change the color of her outfit. So I'm going to be keeping this because I love the way I colored this. I love the way it came out. Look at the way her knee is bent. And I gave her knees. I gave her an elbow. I gave her uh, guns, you know, like muscles. <laughs> And I really love the way I colored it, where it looks like this is her, her backside. And then in between, where it would be darker, in between the thighs and the back of her leg. I really think I did a great job. And let me show you, if you look at the original, she doesn't have any guns on here. Guns, we call them guns. You know, muscles. She doesn't have any, she doesn't have the inner part of her elbow. And you can't see where her knees is. So on here, I gave it, and since I did a good job, I really, really, really wanted to use the coloring but be able to change her outfit into different colors and that's what I did so when I printed it I printed these two I printed these two out and then I proceeded to color her outfit so I'm going to keep the, this is going to be my reference so anytime I want to do something else like this along the line of beach type wear then I'm just going to use this because I like the way it came out and this is now my beach stamp so again these are the products that I'm, these are the items that I made. And please leave me a comment. Tell you, tell me, you guys, what you think. And look at that glitter. Oh, I'm so stoked. I am, let me tell you, I am so excited that I actually altered this doll and it came out so cute. Not that I don't think I can. I just, I told you guys I was going to come back better. So I did. And I hope you guys um, can see that I did. So, this is Therese, one mother, one daughter. Check the description for the other people who is in the collaboration. And, um, I can't wait until next month. Yeah, I can. Because I'm always procrastinating. So, um, yeah. <coughs> this is it. Oh, let me show you my part again with the... Yeah, this is Teresa, one mother, one daughter, and she did her thing. Go, Therese. Go, Therese. Go, Therese. That's a cute dog. That's a cute dog. All right, that's it. All right. I got to go cook. So, this is Teresa, one mother, one daughter, and I'm out.